Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome to the first look of Sunless Sea. Sunless Sea is a very interesting little game. Um, it was originally introduced to me by a friend of mine at work, who basically said it is a Lovecraftian steampunk exploration game, and you can eat your crew. <laughs> Fantastic, I said. So I immediately bought it, and played it a little bit and then put it aside because it is in early access and it was missing a lot of key components. Apparently they have put in some of those key components, so now I can actually show you a little bit about this game. Uh, so from the website it says, Sunless Sea, Navigate, Survive, Explore. Roam a vast underground ocean in a customized steamship. Trade with strange new lands, battle sea monsters, smuggle souls, seduce your crew. Go mad and hallucinate lizards. You're the captain, it's your call. And absolutely true, every single one of those things, I've had at least uh, a couple of those happen to me. Uh, at one point, my crew did start eating each other. That was very embarrassing. Uh, and uh, it's it's a really interesting concept behind this game. It's kind of, it's almost pleasant without being pleasant. And I'll show you what I mean once we get into it. But first, options. There you go. I'm pointing at the screen. That That is what you get. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, it is made by a group called Fail Better Games. I don't know if they've made anything else, but they sure made the hell out of this one. Uh, we are going to start up a new game. This is kind of a roguelike, where once you die, you're dead. However, you can carry on your legacy. Uh, when you spawn a new captain, you can carry over either the charts of the previous captain or one of the crew members or a trait. And it's all pretty intricate to the game, so... We'll jump right into a new game. Yes, we shall. Is that Cthulhu? No. But it could be. I think it's a squid. Or something. Now, everything that you see in this game, or everything that you attempt in this game, is based off of these journal entries and just talking to random people. All it is is exploring, going from port to port, uh, trading information, doing missions, things of that sort, and just exploration. Um, there is nothing... There is nothing set in stone about how you go about doing any of these things. It is completely your story and how you decide to handle it. However, everything that you do is going to be written. There is no audible interactions or things like that. So, uh, Captain's Making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. That's right. It was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. That's not important, surprisingly. What's important is the vast black sea beyond London, which is now called Fallen London because it has now fallen into the sea. Uh, a sea which is yours to explore. So we shall choose our past. Uh, decide who you were. Who was I? Was I a street urchin? Your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, this will give you a bonus to avail- oh yes, I should probably go through these even though I don't really understand all of them yet. These are the different traits. Hearts. Inspire, heal, defend. Sometimes helps with tests around terror. Veils. 26. Speed, stealth, deception. Improves evasion abilities in combat. And the more you have of these, the better the trait is. Pages. Esoteric and occasionally practical knowledge. Increases the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. And secrets are what is the currency in this game. Or to a point. Mirrors, de uh, detection, and perception improves illumination abilities in combat. Uh, you actually have to be able to see your enemy to attack them. And it's a very interesting, uh, it's a very interesting combat system. It almost kind of reminds me of kind of an FTL sort of thing, except you're not targeting individual rooms and stuff like that. However, you do have to set orders to do certain things. Uh, iron, 30. Destroy. <laughs> improves attack damage in combat. And crew. How many Zailers? Now you'll notice you're going to see there's a lot of Zs replacing Ss. It's going to get very confusing. So let's figure out what do we want to do. A street urchin will give you the bonus to Veils, the skills of subtlety and evasion. A poet. This will give you a bonus to Pages, the skill of trickery and knowledge. Veteran of the Campaign of 68. This will give you a bonus to Iron, the skill of causing direct damage. An ordained priest, this will give you a bonus to hearts, the skill of healing and morale. Or the natural philosopher, this will give you a bonus to mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. Now, we are going to be, let's see here. 
We are going to be a natural philosopher. We have gained 25 mirrors. We're now up to 50. We have one plausible surgeon. Well, that's handy. He probably won't saw the wrong limb off. That is very handy to have. Echo is one of the currencies. Uh, it is, well, this is the currency, but secrets of the old are the ultimate currency. Uh, no one was born a Z, Captain. Yeah, it's not called the C, it's called the Z. Strange equality has gone. Welcome to the world. Thank you. Choose an ambition. Fulfillment. Gather a hundred tales. Learn all you can of the Z. Write a masterpiece and retire. Wealth. You know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion. Servant. Fine clothes. A family, perhaps. Uh, and these are locked because you actually have to, you know, die for this one. And, uh, well, actually, no, they're not available in this build. Okay, well, that's a good reason. So we are going to be fulfilling ourselves. Whenever you return to Fall, uh, Fall in London, you have the option of retiring, but you'll need to write your masterwork first. Excellent. A last scrap of paperwork. Captain, Captain, an irregularity at the Harper Master's office. They wish to know. What term of address would you prefer? Sure. Uh, will I be Madam, Sir, Citizen, My Lord, My Lady, or Captain? Captain will do. Thank you. Wonderful. Now I must pick my outline. Let's see here. So we have... Crazy Mummy Man, Crazy Steely Man, Phantom of the Opera, somebody picking his nose, a Under the Sea guy, Brainiac, <laughs> looks like Popeye with a beard, Popeye with a mustache, Gentleman, not so gentleman, indeed. Uh, so let's see here, we are going to go, oh, well, she has tentacles, that's fantastic, nice hair, lovely. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to be... No, this is the anime one. We are going to be him. And our captain's going to be Smee. Captain Smee. He got a promotion, you see. All right. So, here we are at Fallen London. The deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyage starts here. And this is where successful voyages end. Excellent. So, on the story page, you can see your lodgings. What you are doing. This tells you what to do. Sail around the Untersee. Find ports, which contain stories. Locate Z-Mox and gain fragments and ultimately secrets. Play stories or trade goods to gain echoes. How do you move, etc, etc, etc. That'll basically teach you how to do different things. What is in my hold? Okay, so we have a cannon. The forward lead beater and stain rod. Reconditioned frigate surplus deck and mark two. This way up. <laughs> and an engine. You can upgrade these at the shipyard but you obviously have to go and do things. Fuel is a consumable resource. You will have to fill that back up at port, as well as supplies, because if you run out of food, people start eating each other. It gets a little awkward. Invictus token. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Yes. The journal is where you can see what you have completed in the past and what you are currently doing. Uh, whether you, you will have missions here, these are currently what we are trying to do. Uh, become London's most venerated explorer. Uh, you can... Oh, no, nope, you can't open those just yet. Okay, never mind. Officers, we have not hired an officer yet. So, yeah. The shops, you can buy all sorts of different things. You will have different places where they say, We need to have some zoop. So you buy some zoop, and then you take it to them, and you sell some zoop. And there are different... Uh, different shops, like right here I could buy an upgraded... Uh, Upgraded weapon if I so desire, or torpedo components, torpedo nets, and etc, etc, etc. You can buy supplies, fuel, foxfire candles, uh, random things of randomness, and a nice engine, and other things. And then the shipyard. This is my current ship, the Iphigenia, I guess. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but we'll go with it. This tramp steamer has served well, but for a long, long, long time... And then you can upgrade to... Oh, they added a couple new ones. You have a cargo class, or a merchant cruiser. A frigate. A corvette. A cutter. And a dreadnought. Very nice. Alright. So, manual save. Switch to merciful mode. Yeah. Uh, this game only saves when you go to port. Just so you know. Now, in the top left, you will see a couple of different things. You have your hull, which is your damage that you can take. You have forward and reverse. You can only go one and two. 
and chances are you will not usually outrun bigger things than you. Uh, there are some instances where you can, and it's fantastic. Then you have your fuel meter and your engine temperature, if the engine does happen to catch fire, which it will. And you uh, decide to roll the dice because this is all left up to a dice roll. Then you may or may not explode the ship or lose some crew or, you know, set fire to your stores. You know, there are so many different ways for things to go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, below that is the food meter, which actually is going up right now because I'm not doing anything and they're getting hungry. And then you have the terror meter. The more that that fills up, the worse the things get. You start hallucinating, you start seeing things, you start hearing things. People start turning against each other. It gets really bad. And the hunger's going up rather quickly. This will automatically uh, feed them if it goes past a certain threshold. But uh, I think you can change that somewhere, maybe. And there's those stupid bats. So, without further ado, everything that you see and encounter will pop up at the logbook down here. Uh, these should close out. Ah, yes. Yeah, so we actually need to go visit the Admiralty Survey Office. They will pay you for information. Continue. Uh, let's see. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. So if I go to a port, I can gather information and I can bring it back for money. Uh, do I have an appointment? Ask to speak to a higher authority. As soon as there is anything in particular we need, unlocked with Admiral's favor, no more than two. Okay, so we'll try this one. Uh, speak to our agent at this port. Which is this port? What port? From the Iron and Misery Company Funging Station, somewhere not far from the home waters. Okay, so we can do that. So we have a mission. Let's pull up our map. This is the entirety that you can map out. But you have to actually explore to find the stuff. So let's get moving. Alright. Uh, there we go. Oh, what did I do? I pressed a button. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, so launch E. And then it's uh, W and S to speed up and slow down. Obviously, the faster you are going, the more your fuel gets consumed. And you turn with A and D, and it's more of a sweeping motion. Discovered. Bad Stevener's Abyss. 50 fragments gained. And you cannot scroll in or out. You are just stuck with the view you have. You also have a comatose ferret for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so I need to find the Iron and Misery Company place. Now, anytime you come across one of these islands, you will see if they have this port right here with a little circle, you can dock here so you can go and talk to them. Low Barnet has been discovered. We've fed the crew. Let's go ahead and turn into port here and see what's going on in uh, Hunter's Keep. All right, Hunter's Keep, a hump of dark rocks swathed in mist, swathed, whatever, <laughs> like a hundred other hunters the islands. All right, a hump of dark rocks swathed in mist, blah, blah, blah. But there's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns, impossibly green and lush in false star light. Raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Present yourself at the house. They will have heard your ship come in. Why hide? Walk the gardens? Eh. Take a couple of burly sailors around with you. Let's take a little trot. Or reconteur the island. Plunging deep cliffs, soft green lawns, a well tucked away in a fold of the grounds. Oh, a well. Okay. Wrong emphasis there. Anything else? Alright, so. If I do this, it will give me the information... And I get a port report, which I can take back to the Admiral's uh, Admiralty's office and sell. Uh, but right now, I am not going to spy on them. I have a 77% chance of success because of my veils. However, I don't think I need to. So I'm going to present myself. Say hello. Knock and enter. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women await. Ooh. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the decorum, indecorum, whatever, she says. Visitors are rare, and you are very welcome. 
I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe, and the cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? I have become acquainted with the sisters of the Hunter's Keep. Wonderful! The parlor is empty. Where are the sisters? News! I can't do that one. But I can go and speak. Oh, wait. The maid has made it clear through a series of unwelcoming growls that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are all indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. Well, damn. I guess I'll leave port. No reason to stick around. But it is time to do a little more exploring. Oh, that is an enemy pirate ship. I'm actually going to go and take him on because I want to show you the combat. You want some of me, buddy? Let's do it. Fight. All right. A nimble, savage little wolf of a vessel. You have engaged your enemy. Right, so this is the way that this goes. It is all based on actions. First, you have to illuminate. You could do it with flares, which have a warm-up of five seconds. You could do it with potent flares, which have a warm-up of five seconds, but uses fuel. Uh, it illuminates a little more. Or you could do it with seek, which is just based on your mirror count. Now, these are all things that you have to do. While you are trying to illuminate your enemy, they are trying to illuminate you. So you also have to stack evades, flank speeds, and flee. Flee you don't really want to do because you're trying to run away. Uh, these are your two attacks. You have a devastating salvo and a salvo. However, you have to have a certain amount of illumination to be able to fire these. Uh, this one requires 100 illumination. This one requires 50. So, each of these will give a little bit of illumination. This one has a maximum of 150. I have a maximum of 150. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, immediately, you can press spacebar to pause. And you can queue up to four attacks, or four actions. So I want to see them first, so I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to flare. Actually, no. I'm going to seek. And that should give me enough illumination, if I remember correctly. Because these are weak enemies, so you don't have to do too much. Alright, so right now, he has 30. I have 31. He is firing this, which requires an illumination less than 50. It may or may not hit, but I doubt it. I'm going to plop one flare that should illuminate him enough. As a matter of fact, I'm going to immediately queue up a salvo after the fact. We took one point of damage. All right, so we see him 73, so this should hit. Boom. Okay. Now... He's got a decent amount of illumination on us, so we need to evade. So we're going to put a, two evades, and then we'll see what he does during that time. All right, he's going to keep seeking us. So one evade. Oh, he's going for a big, a big shot. However, that's going to bring me down below his, uh, his requirement for the 100 illumination on the Devastating Salvo, which is nice. So I will fire upon him. Boom. And one more for good measure. I should have queued it up originally because I would have just automatically fired and killed him. There he goes. He is dead. Now I get options. I can scuttle it. It's the vile load vessel and these Z's are safe. Take what you can to move on. That may get you some fuel. It may get you some food. Uh, recording the observations. Well, I can't really do that because I have to have observations. Or I can send her home with two Zailers and you can sell it. Now, if I decide to do that, I will lose a couple of crewmen. However, there's a good chance that I could sell it for good money and get those crewmen back. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. To the victor go the spoils. You've lost two crew. That's fine. I was fortunate. Good. So that means that when I get back, I should be able to sell it. So, let's get back on the road again. proverbial road. And see if we can find some horrors from beyond the grave. Uh, up to the north is where you can shuttle souls for money, or for, uh, God, what are those things called again? Can't even remember. Oh, there's another guy right there. He may or may not charge after me. We'll see what he does. He does see me. You can turn your lights off, which does give you a little bit of a, uh, ability to escape. But he's just going to keep trying to truck along and get me. And those are some bats. They're going to try to attack me as well. He gave up because we're near a port. These bats, not so much. 
This is Carissa's point. All right. Oh, he's coming back. They're all coming. Back. Oh, what are you? Oh, this is one of the uh, ships that you can go and gain. Uh, you could buy fuel and things like that when you're out at sea. They may leave scars, but they're only vermin. Well, all right. Two illuminations. One big fire. Should be good to go. Okay, one more. Couple of fires ought to do it. Let's find out here. Maybe one. Nope, two. Their attacks are so dependent on being able to see me, they never really get a chance. So there we go. Gather up the corpses. They are succulent with stolen blood into the pot or dispose of the corpses. Let's see what my terror is at. Nine. That's not too bad right now. It gets a lot higher, so we're going to eat them. Ha ha ha. Those little bones are troublesome, but the f and the flesh is a little gamey, but the salt, salt them well enough, and they're quite edible. Oh, jeez, I gotta go! Oh, okay, we'll fight these guys real quick. Uh, illuminate, illuminate, fire, fire. Go! And then you just sit back. You can watch the, sp the uh, combat log if you so desire. It'll tell you what you've done. You've illuminated the smee. All right, two shots, they did. There we go. Now this time we're gonna scuttle their bones so we take a little less uh, terror. There we go, we're back to eight. Just kind of wary. And of course, you start without being at speed, so you have to kind of gain speed back. I'm actually gonna go back to Fallen London and turn in a couple of things. You're just gonna keep on following me. You want to die. Okay, come here. You and I will battle. All right, so I'm just gonna double illuminate, double fire, and see what that does. I assume since their hull is so low, I should be able to just wipe them off. 27, show me 50. There we go, okay, so I have enough. Fire one. Really? Not enough. This should fire before he even gets a chance to get that uh, devastating salvo off. There we go. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to send that home as well. Fortunate. Because I'm actually heading home right now. Of course you travel just a little bit slower because you don't have enough crew to crew the entire ship. Oh dear. A white z -back. Go on deck. Oh, a Zailer has grown fretful and disobedient. Reluctant to go on deck, even in port. There's a white z -bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. Salt. Zailer superstition. Order him up on deck at once. Salt. One of the nameless gods that Zailers fear. He's a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a fever. Feed the Z-Bat. If the white z are tapered to the salt, perhaps you'll win salt's favor. If you believe any of this. Uh, shoot the Z-Bat. If the... The what? The biddy? Thing is frightening your bloody crew. Is that really... Is that really hiding bloody? Really? Oh, it's a low-risk challenge. Shoot it! Ha <laughs> ha! It sees your intention and spreads its wings in order to flee, but your shot catches it, and it falls to the deck with a broken fluttering. You cross the deck to collect a pale corpse. Your crew is utterly silent. So I got a hunting trophy. I got a stone storm and salt. Salt curse lies on you. Oh dear. Uh, and 15 terror, so now I'm kind of nervous. Wonderful. All right, so I have to try to get back to port so I can get my crewmen back. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere anytime soon. I'm not really sure how long this recording has been going on for long, for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to port. I'm going to turn in these quests and do these kind of things. And then I am going to try to find some of the larger horrors from beyond. So I want to show you some of the cool stuff. Remind me to get fuel, by the way. Now at any point in time I can speak 
to the ferret. Today your ferret seems a little livelier. Oh, I've never seen it lively before. Play with it. The ferret rises from its pillow and moves to explore the cabin. It moves like a meandering stream of treacle. Ew. <laughs> it noses at furniture, disdains boots. It returns to its pillow. There is nothing, its expression says. Nothing at all. Nothing from here. Poor little ferret. Oh. Is he happier though? No. So I could right click and speak to the surgeon if I so desired. I could unlock a secret. Pages number 49. Spending a secret will improve your pages, but no higher than 50. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use a secret on him yet. I'm not exactly sure what the secret entails, but I know it's very valuable, so I'm not going to mess with it. Very slowly trundling into port. So I have to remember to have more crewmen on hand. Alright, here we are. Collect messages from the harbor master. Uh, all the clutter. Any messages? That's all for now. Someone wants to sign on. Ooh, okay. Something has changed in the Neath. Excellent. Hello, London. Uh, so we shall go to... Uh, let's see here. We're going to repair our ship. So I can use the Lead Beater and Stain Rod Shipyard. They do a fair job at a decent price. They repair up to 25 hull, which I just about need. Uh, they have a re reputation for cutting corners. Slightly higher price for this one. So that is 30 echo. This one is 15 echo. I'm not damaged that much, so I'm just going to take the chance. And they did it all, so that's good. All right, so let's go to our journal. Our terror is at 34. We have victors and spoils and all that good stuff. Time the healer ever changing. Your Temet Z will change you. And London. All right, so... We shall go to our story. Go to London. Visit the Admiralty's office. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. Why did I say it like that? I must be tired. Okay. <laughs> so I have submitted the port report that I got from the Hunter's Keep. And that gave me five echo. And also Admiralty's Favor, which eventually will unlock other things. I have to have no more than two, so let's try that. Uh, survey three ports and return to win the Admiralty's approval. Sure, why not? Alright, uh, so. Shipyard, can I sell? Where do I sell? Obviously I haven't learned all this stuff yet. Uh, is it here? No. No. No, no. Right, so where do I get back my stuff and such? Hmm. Don't I have these already? No, okay. Uh, story. Your lodgings. Read the morning paper, see if anything is interesting is going on here. You actually lose terror for reading it, you don't get any fragments, and you get recent news. Uh, the Echo's Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor express, empress, whatever, <laughs> has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroys destroyed a nest of gall blighter wasps fantastic well done so i gotta figure out where i can sell those ships and get my guys back uh let's see here to the victor of the spoils who do i have to sell those to i wonder i have a secret i have a hunting trophy i have recent news I have fragments. Discover monsters and locations to gain fragments. Gain enough fragments and they'll combine into a secret. Okay. That's good to know. 
And you could throw things overboard, which I would not recommend. <laughs> Unless you actually, you know, need to. Uh, let's see. So, visit the university, find secrets by locating locations of interests. Okay. Uh, hire on more crew. Offer passage to tomb colonists. A new recruit who awaits me. Let's see. Engage an officer, the brisk campaigner. Need a real physician. Well, I already have a physician. Sort of. The haunted doctor. And engage a sailor. I could just increase my crew. Uh, let's see. Hearts and pages. Hearts and iron. Uh... My iron's decent. My heart's okay. Pages, I almost want to get a little bit. Well, I think heart's and iron. How much are you? 50. Maybe not. That's a little much. Long away to prize. There we go. Got my crew back. Gained 100 echo. Now I can uh, bring that person on board. Why not? So that was under... I swear I'll get this figured out eventually. <laughs> Obviously I have not been playing that much. Um, new recruit, continue. You there. Welcome aboard. Oh, so I have to swipe him out. Oh, but that is a no-brainer. You, sir. Goodbye. Uh, sh 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 back to my lodgings. Can't write a will. Rest in the room above the blind helmsman reduces your terror, heals a wound, and gives you a restful night. I don't think I'm that bad. All right. All right. London. No. A very little gift. A fine evening to you, Captain. My. What you have call... What What you... What? My what you might call mentor. Okay. It's kind of hard. It's, it's a strange font. I don't know. It kind of throws me off for some reason. Is very fond of adventurous Z captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation. On account of he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the docks stands a dray. dray? Piled high with fuel and supplies. Okay, so he just wants to give me things, but why? Uh, he runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river, what is much patronized by sailors and men of wit and vinegar. A public house, and there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly, and I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Sure, I'll take your free stuff. So five supplies, ten fuel. Fantastic. Let's go and explore. Now, I the last time I played this, I learned something very quickly about that man. He is not what I would call the friendliest of people. Uh, insofar as he, the next time you talk to him, he kind of slips you something and says, you have to do this. You have to do this or I'm going to kill you. So I went and I did it and then I kind of messed up because I forgot about completing it. And apparently you cannot return to shore until you, or uh, return to London until you have done it. Hey, look, it's one of the illuminated crabs. The horrors from below. And, uh, yeah, apparently you can't return without completing it. So I returned, he came up and said, why didn't you do it? And I had no other option but to either try to flee or try to fight. So I tried to fight and he murdered me. <laughs> but this is the Auroral Megalops. These are the younger form of the gargantuan Z crabs, driven up from their spawning grounds in the south by peculiar radiations. Younger they may be, but they are still large enough to consume a pony, ew, with messy and clattering glee, or to pose a menace to ill-prepared ships. We're going to fight it, though. You are trying to increase your enemy's illumination, the yellow bar at the portrait, so they can see in damage. They are trying to increase yours. So, we're just going to run the same procedure as we did before. As a matter of fact, probably will not even to do, need to do much more. Because, as long as I get up to 50, one shot's going to kill him. He's only got 5 life. There we go, he is dead. Now the combat gets a lot more intense later on, especially when you're a weak little crew like mine is. So I can butcher it for supplies, or I can uh, check it out from knowledge. I'm just going to butcher it for supplies. You've lost 16 hunger, so it wipes out your hunger, which is very nice. 
So now we shall move on and see if we can find some bigger stuff. Because I really want to show you some of the bigger creatures out there. There is some really large, rather disconcerting creatures. Now, I'm not going to be able to play long enough for you to see my crew start eating each other, especially when I have nine hunger or nine food available. But, rest assured, it will happen. The air trembles. A breath of change passes. So let's see how much I've explored so far. A tiny little piece. Now bear in mind, when your map is up, you are still moving. Things are still happening around you, so you have to pay attention. Alright, so we have found the Stone Soul Isles. But it has not been yet created. Check back in a later build. You'll get that. They have not completed this game. It is still in early access, but it is still... It is a really interesting game, and there is so much more that I'm showing you, right, than I'm showing you right now, that you can do in it. I mean, it is... There is so much that you could do. I'm gonna kill my lights here. See if I can kind of just, uh... Traipse past these little bats, because I really don't feel like dealing with them. It's not that they're, you know, hard to deal with. I just don't want to take the time and effort. I'm trying to find the bigger stuff. Keeping the light on does help with your terror a little bit as far as I understand it, but not much. So right now we are Terror 49. The terror of the Z is less here. The Z is wide and dark. The terror is increasing. I love the music. I just wish it played more often. So if I remember correctly, yeah, none of this stuff has been created yet, but there should be some enemies around here. Yeah, okay. Fed the crew, fantastic. Something awaits you in port. Hmm. Not sure I want to know what that is. Boreal Reach. Is this snow? Touch it and it puffs to vapor. The men huddle close to the warmth of pipe and funnel. Ah, there we go. This may be a very bad idea, but I'm going to go and check it out. I actually haven't seen this one before. The Lifeberg. Those rifts. In the Lifeberg surface. Are they mouths? Lifebergs do not breathe. They kill from malice, not hunger. But they speak. Dear Christ, they speak. We're fighting it. Or we could sacrifice this is Ailer. <laughs> One may die so that all may live, but it won't make you very popular. We've engaged the enemy. Okay, so let's see what he's got. He's got 100 life, 150 illumination. So we are going to illuminate, illuminate. Actually, illuminate, evade, illuminate, evade. We're going to start with those. Illuminate. That's going to be 28. Evade. i got to keep this down while I uh, bring his up. Fire once, going to evade once, going to illuminate again. Smell fear. Oh dear. Okay. Um, one second here. Okay, so my best option here, I am actually going to flare up twice, evade twice, and then I'm going to hit him with a couple of devastating salvos. Oh dear, oh what's he hitting me with? Crush! For the love of God, don't let, get it, coo don't let it get too close, but it, it's, its attacks will expose it. Oh, excellent. Alright, so, let's cancel those and let's hit him with everything we got. Or I will just die instantaneously. <laughs> Fantastic. So apparently I wasn't quite ready to handle such things. <sighs> Slip beneath the waves. Uh, perhaps you'll be remembered in song. You are gone, but you provided for your heir. Well, I didn't make a will. So I'm dead. But now, I can choose a new legacy and preserve either my chart my officer or my skill. 
If your crew reaches zero, you too are dead. So there we go. I come back to life and I have to start all over again from scratch. However, you can carry on your legacy with these different things. So, yeah. It's a very interesting little game. I, it's really hard to describe because so much of it is in written lore and context. So, you know, it's one of those where if it looks interesting to you and you think that you're into this whole top-down 2D uh, exploration with Lovecraftian elements, this game will absolutely be for you. But it is an early access, so I'll understand if you want to wait. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Adios.